just a little demo how the neuron works and how it sounds. I take a resonator one, and there's a sound in there. It's a didgeridoo. Of course, a natural sound. Somebody sampled it. You can do this by your own and feed it in, in there. And then you have different models of this didgeridoo. Of course, you know you can underblow it or overblow it. It can be hollow, it can be rich. It can be a few didgeridoos in parallel. And everything is controlled by this little stick up here. And with this stick you can switch between the different characters of the sound. So this is physical modeling recent, this is in real time if you want. So with a stick you can control up to three parameters with one finger. Okay, this is resonator one. You can go into the octaves here, up or down. And then you get characters you won't get in real life with the didgeridoo. But leave it like that in a normal mode. Uh, you can switch between sphere and scope. Uh, with the didgeridoo, it's, it means like if you use your breath, the breath noise at the start of the sound is one part of the sound, the other part is when it's resonating. So you can manipulate both parts of the sounds, like a violin string resonating and the bow itself has also a noise. So you can go through this different aspects of a sound also in the resonator. This is quite cool. Then, as you might see here, you have a second resonator. I switch off the first one. This is a different sound I put in here. And with model select menu, you can use different models and put them into resonator 2. So that you have the freedom to combine any sounds you like to combine. And this one can be manip manipulated also very drastically. Between large body, stationary, small body, or natural sound. Depends on the basic sound you use in here. Then you got this blender in here, and you can blend between resonator 1 if it's activated to resonator 2, or use them both together, and that's what I'm doing now. And so you get this typical neuron like, -like sounds by doing this. I just keep the octave down here. which possibilities there are to change this. Next thing, thing any, uh, every synthesis is doing is looking out for um, filters. And there is a filter in here, it's called silver. Uh, it's not a normal filter. Of course you got what everybody knows, the resonance here, or the cutoff. But you can also use something like a flanger, this is a phaser. And this can be selected by this little stick here, you probably sh should not lose. Uh, now it's a phaser, and maybe i have a look if I can, can get into something e else here. Phaser, mix, feedback, depth, speed, waves, and serial phase. So I can ma manipulate the phaser here, uh, or go to gain, or frequency, or high shelf, compressor on threshold, or EQ compression. Everything can be selected with this little stick here, and then you get different possibilities to work with the silver filter here. There's one red button above the resonator 1, 2, and in silver, and it's called record stick. Stick is this here, and if you want to record it, that's quite easy, and this is quite a cool feature of the neuron, that's what I think. Uh, if I uh, switch on record stick and do something here, I do something and after that it's automated. So everything in here can be recalled automatically after just saying record stick and that's it. Down here you have a section ADSR uh, comes to your mind when you see it. 
but uh, it can control different things. Um, there's quite depth, like three-dimensional, into the menu of this, uh, what you ca might control via this here. Uh, so also there's a good possibility to control everything you do in here. I'm going to load a little different sound now here, like shaku string, mixture of shaku archi and string. And this sounds like, yeah, a pad. Neuron is not a typical synthesizer for pads. But once you use them, you have this wonderful possibility to deconstruct them into something totally new. In the end here you get an effect section and switch a delay on. And here we go with sound. There's also a slicer in here, like an LFO. Probably not with this sound here. If you get a percussive sound or have a better attack, the slicer works like an LFO. But you can manage slices in different rhythms by that. It's quite a sophisticated slicer here. And sure, you got also pitch in here. this stick different aspects of modulation. So just check a few different sounds here, dream organ, singing resi, this comes along with it and as I told you of course you can build your own models here uh, and it has been very well done. My bloody drone And so, you get to spaces that might be quite interesting for film scoring or special effects. And the best thing about it is you have on the other side here 5.1 surround sound and can map one of these sticks to the surround sound. If you, and if you get a, a surround system in your venue somewhere, you can move with a stick through the surround panning in real time on stage. And don't need a complicated computer mapping and an 8-channel or whatever uh, interface. You can do it right along with this machine here. And that's also one of the features that was totally visionary to do this. And in a way, it is an open system also. As I told you, um, you can do your own uh, models on a PC and uh, then transfer them via USB, but this is not typical USB, it's USB to Ethernet and then to the PC uh, to this m wonderful machine here. And after that you can <laughs> use it immediately. So here we go with some special sounds. Natural. Large body, pitch, speed. Imagine this 5.1 surround here. Tap the delay, do some resonance, and maybe use the slicer in here. This sounds like 2017, doesn't it?
Just the last one. Sarah's love. <laughs> I forgot that via type menu you can also say which, how is, are the two resonators blended together. So it can be chromophobic or mixed single sphere. Or stereo, one left, two right. Or just mix it. Or dual sphere it. or intermorph. Last one, net objects. Remember that? <laughs> oh, this is typical strings. So, as I told you, this is not typical neuron. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna do a few sounds with that little composition, a mixture of harmonic stuff, what it's not really meant for, and some special effects. Then you get a better, better impression on that. It's a beautiful machine. I love it. It's still very usable. Best thing would be put an SSD in there, uh, port the. Uh, it's a Linux system, I think, the basis of it all, with the, within the models. If you get it managed, you have a synth that's also in our times still very, very nice to use. <laughs>